Good evening. But first up, what we have is the results of the BOG finals. Ba are the new BOG champions. They beat Lambasa 4-2 in a penalty shootout just minutes ago. Full details of the BOG final in sports. All Land Transport Authority staff have been told to shape up. Chief Executive Naisa Tunedeva has issued the directive saying he's disappointed at how LTA officers behave with the public. Vasita Kote Wasawasa reports. The LTA is getting tough, but this time with its own employees. Since January, there have been 50 complaints on how people have been treated and the message is shape up or ship out. For those that continue to uh, be a thorn uh, in good customer service, they, 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 they're going to be disciplined. We, we're going to tell them that the door is open. If they cannot deliver, if they cannot perform, then uh, maybe LTA is not the place for them. Tuna Deva says one of their main concerns is customers being made to run around due to incorrect information. And we are reminding our staff of giving their best. You know, how they explain clearly to our customers on issues that touches the service they've been uh, asking and how they can also be of uh, full assistance to uh, prevent uh, these customers from running and going round and round. Line managers have been given the responsibility to show improvements. What we've been telling the regional managers is uh, they are our people there on the ground in terms of contact with our customers and our stakeholders. They're the ones that should be making sure that the service are being provided to the customers the best of their ability. And this warning is not to be taken lightly. Any more complaints and Tuinadeva will start taking drastic actions. So if you feel wronged by any LTA officer, lodge a complaint now. Vosita Koti Wasawasa, FBC News. Fiji needs more cancer specialists. Every year about 500 people lose their battle with cancer. The Fiji Cancer Society believes having more doctors will help save more lives. Sharin Lata reports. Despite the improving health services provided to cancer patients, there is still a lack of cancer specialists in Fiji. We need more help and we continue to get people from overseas who come in and help our community, but we don't have enough specialized people to look after cancer patients. Currently, most of the patients are either treated by general practitioners, while some are told to come back at a later date. According to Fiji Cancer Society, treatment at an early stage can avoid the situation getting worse. The health ministry say Fiji's health system is still developing. The health system in Fiji is not perfect. One thing I can tell you that it keeps improving. We have a number of factors involved. Fiji's largest hospital, the CWM hospital has three doctors and other staffs looking after the cancer patients. Sharin Lata, FBC News. If you owe the Nandi Town Council money, you better pay up, or you might not be able to take your next overseas flight. The council has put in place some drastic measures for those who fail to pay their overdue rates. Eleanor Turangai View has more. The council is owed $2 million in arrears accumulating over a five-year period. Two-thirds of this amount is owed by residential ratepayers. Working on government's directive to recover all arrears by year's end, the council has put in place a few eyebrow-raising measures for those who fail to pay up. The council will go out uh, vigorously to try and uh, bring them uh, publicly, uh, advertising their names on the papers and also putting their names on the data bureau. And not only that, the council will be uh, also making arrangements for these people uh, to be stopped on our airport. But wait, there's more. They will also file bankruptcy and winding up proceedings and can also tender properties when necessary. And the reason for this? The council early this year has uh, gone through two big floods, uh, which has caused uh, devastating uh, impact. The council has got uh, on hand uh, damages from those floods, which is still to be repaired. As a result, the council has uh, pursued these uh, measures to be able to uh, carry out the uh, repair of these damages uh, as a result of those uh, natural disasters. The grace period for the clearing of outstanding rates is the 31st of this month. Eleanor Turangai View, FBC News.